thinking about it, and I think this is an interesting analysis. Um, I've thought about this over the years, but today's the first time I ever just sat down and, and did it, and it just was a couple minutes here. So I, you know, when you think about all the different diameters of the most popular cartridges over the years, and really kind of there aren't a bunch of other ones out there. Now I stopped at 358 diameter in this analysis and I realize it goes up from there, but I'm thinking mostly about North American big game cartridges, Western big game cartridges in this, in looking at this, or popular, I guess, Western cartridges, if you will. When I say Western, I don't mean Western US, I mean, I guess the Western nations, Canada, the U, you know US, Western hemisphere. So if you look here, we just kind of listed some of the example cartridges that fit into each one of these diameters. And, uh, and then what I did here is I just did some simple math to say, well, what percent increase in diameter was there going from 224 to 243? In other words, how much bigger on a percentage basis is 243 than 224? So this is the outcome here. We get 8.5% increase going from 224 to 243. And you can see as we go down the line here, I think it's interesting to note that in all these kind of mid-range cartridges, so from, you know, the 243 on up to the 284, we just see these really nominal increases, right? So from 243 to 257, we see 5.8%. 257 to 264, 2.7% increase in diameter. Uh, 264 to 277, almost 5%, and 277 to 284 is just 2.5%. But then all of a sudden, we see this interesting, uh, the most significant increase from 284 to 308. I mean, 308 is almost 0.31, right, versus 0.28. So that's pretty interesting, and I just think that's notable that we have this, these two uh, it's the smallest and the largest back-to-back. -back. The smallest increase was from 277 to 284, and the biggest increase is from 284 to 308. And then if we just keep going here, we've got 308 to 323, which I realize 323 is all but uh, faded. In fact, honestly, the 8mm Remington mag doesn't get near the love it should. Uh, but that's a topic for another day. But 4.9% there, and then 46 from 323 to 338. 338 to 358, pretty decent jump there at almost 6%. So I don't know that I have a point other than I think it's notable how big of a jump we have from 7mm to 308, 284 to 308. And if I'm missing something in there, uh, let me know. But that's interesting, and I think that's why, guys, my opinion is that's why 30 caliber and up is kind of preferred for Western big game, um, the, you know, look, I've, you've watched my channel, you know, I've taken elk with the 284, 277, a buddy of mine last year took an elk with the 264. So I'm not saying you shouldn't, I'm not saying you can't, but it just really shows that this diameter bump, frontal diameter, um, really changes when you get to that 30 caliber. And before that, the changes stepping through the calibers are, um, very minimal. All right, guys, hopefully that's interesting. Look forward to your comments on this.